came here maybe uh, four weeks ago the first time to look at the, the room and the museum and uh, I was curious to find out if I find some connection, um, something I can use to create an installation. So because I want, I like to work site specifically uh, to connect to the context of a place or the history of a place. I came here without really knowing what it will be like and then I found some interesting things um, like the heating hole in, in the middle of the room because in, in my work I'm trying to hide loudspeakers. I don't want loudspeakers to be seen because I think in my opinion if you don't know where the loudspeakers are you hear in a different way. It changes your perception. So. And when I came here, also I came by car and I drove by Totopania and I saw the Turul monument on the mountain and I did not know anything about it, <laughs> I have to say. So I did some research and was um, very uh, surprised to find out all the stories of the Magyaric origin and, and the, the Turul, the, the function and the role of the Turul. And so I thought this could be a nice way for me, without knowing much about Hungarian history, <laughs> to connect uh, on one level. So the tool comes, the voice of the tool comes out of the hole, uh, like maybe uh, a symbol of the past, or could also be a symbol of the future, you never know. Uh, another layer was to open up the sound of tea kettles and using three objects that are used in everyday life. Everyone knows them, but no one, um, usually you don't um, appreciate the sound or the, the whole spectrum of sounds from a tea kettle. It's just a function to boil water. But um, when you use it like, like a sound object, um, it's possible to find details or small sounds that no one really uh, ever appreciated like the steam or water drops running down and evaporating in the heating plate. So it's a very composition hidden in, in, the, in this object. The third part was in, in the exhibitions there are two uh, corners which I trans, transformed into living rooms and you can hear the sounds of a certain place where I lived for, for a time. And one of them is um, the sounds from Salzburg where I lived for three years and other corner I'm using sounds from Sao Paulo and it's also interesting to compare the different soundscapes of two, two cities. So the Sao Paulo piece is new, I just uh, made it for this exhibition. So it's another layer and for me, as I said in the beginning, I don't want to show the loudspeakers so in that case the loudspeakers are hidden uh, under the sofa and I wanted to create um, the listening perspective of sounds coming from behind or from behind the wall. So when you sit on the sofa, you can hear sounds coming from behind you, but you, and they are domestic sounds, but you don't know exactly what it is, where it comes from. It could be from behind the wall from another room.